is it? What's up guys, thank you for watching Franco TV. So I've just made it back to the Awalita Cemetery. Now I'm gonna be making my way to her room further down through there. However, the light is apparently on. There wasn't a light on the last time I've been here, but it looks like something new. So that being said, let's get into the video. I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but right up there, the light is on. I'm assuming that's something new. Hoping that nobody else is here. Didn't look like it since I've been driving here. It was nice to see everything still looks normal. So definitely the light has been fixed. Unless somebody was just recently buried here. That used to be up here, and now it's on the floor. Can you come close to the little black box in my hand? I like the new light in your room. I'm trying to see what I would get from here. See if anything different. Abuelita. See? I got like three spikes there. How are you? Look at that. I take that that you're okay? You're doing good? I like the new light in your room. So I'm gonna just go right into it. I did get some rumors around people that I know that come here. Um, they were saying they did get some weird sounds, some mysterious people also hanging around this area. Uh, I'm gonna go night vision and seeing if anything else is to happen around this area as I keep going. The sound outside is kind of driving me nuts still with the water because it's just kind of like blocking my hearing from hearing anything else outside. But let's go ahead and turn off the lights. It's completely dark. I am in night vision mode. And it's quiet. I do have my K2 with me. Seeing what I can get. Off the K2 meter. We can knock. Can you knock? You could go in and knock for me, make a sound. If there's anybody here that would like to talk with me, just give me a sound. It's been a long time since I've been back here. Can you tell me your name? Deep. Deep what? Alright, I'm gonna see if I go in here. Were you a doctor? And what is your name? 
Is your name Dr. Miller? Now usually these big mausoleums um, would pretty much house someone of importance, like a doctor or a lawyer or a judge, and that's why they get this whole big area to themselves. Dr. Miller, is there any way you could give me a sign if you're a doctor or maybe not? Thomas. Doctor, well, not Dr. Thomas, but hold on. I want to see. It's Dr. Miller, Miller. Doesn't seem to be any bodies up here. How many people are here with me? Crying. Crying, and I just got a noise coming from right up here. May I ask who's crying? It sound like one of the gates moving. Marco. Margaret. So I just heard a sound. And I sound like it came from right over here. Like one of the gates moving. I'm not using my IR so you guys can see better. Another noise. <gasps> I got like a rock right in my shoe. I heard something. It was kind of quiet. is open. I checked this before and this was off. I'm going to switch to my GoPro night vision now. Okay, just switched over to my GoPro camera. I'm using IR low. looking through here. I just heard a car pass right by. And I saw some reflection of lights on my right hand side. I think there's a car right over this wall over here. I gotta be careful. I don't know if it's the cops or somebody else, but this is Florida and you wanna be careful with that. All right, so I got a, a random car that just pulled in. And there's people getting out. bright light that you see is a cell phone light so he has a cell phone out
it's ironic that the moment something paranormal starts happening, it was right when that car was coming in, like if something was trying to warn me or something, and then I heard like a weird noise and I went towards that area. If it wasn't for that random noise that I heard, I would have continued going forward and somebody would have still been there right next to me. All right, so I'm outside and I see that little blinking light. You see it? That right there. That's a light, a cell phone light. That's the only reason why I saw this person. And it looks like they are going in to the other side of the graveyard right up there. Now, I don't know if that person came with the car that was just here or they walked from back there to the crime scene area all the way up here. If you're wondering what I mean about the crime scene area, someone died back there in those forests. Oh, wait a minute, I think I lost them. I don't know if you guys can see him or her. All right, I think I'm gonna go up there and see if I could try to find them. I decided to use the truck um, just because I don't want to leave my truck unattended because I might have seen a third person here but I don't know if there's more this is pretty much right around the the area here where I saw the, the person walking I've waited about 30 or 40 minutes and no one's come out of there it's just like a straight walk through um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can walk through there a little bit. I am pretty much armed, so I should be okay. If anything was to happen, hopefully not. But I do wanna see what's inside and what's going on. However, I did find something else right here while just driving here. Check this out. It looks to be a new path right inside here. Now where I saw the guy walking, was this way, going upwards that way. That's the white fence. But I've never seen this here before. All this is new. Looks like there's some candles on the floor. I'm gonna use my other flashlight. What the hell is that? Sounds like a scream coming from inside here. It definitely sounds further back here. I'm gonna go night vision just so I'm not like a walking torch going in there. I wanna see if I could hear I sound like 
a scraping sound. Was there something screaming in here? Distract. Distract. Were you trying to distract me? All this here are tombstones. It's just kind of in the darkness. careful for what I'm about to do. I want to see if I could see where people are walking towards. Just to see where they're going. I wasn't expecting... They, whatever it was that they had right here lit up. It almost looked like eyes or something on the top. I'm not too quite sure what that was. But it looked like it was right up through here. Oh, I got a random light coming from back here. Now, the other times that I've been here, I don't really go to this side of the area. Hold on, I'm gonna use my flashlight because I can't see anything. I don't ever come to this area here. There's another pathway into the forest. these little pathways and this graveyards are for I am literally itching like crazy I'm getting bit up alive by a whole bunch of mosquitoes especially around my back area you can hear movement in the forest as well as a bat out here so I can't see anything. Pretty much. I just got a sound over here. tombstone right here it looks like the name has been marked off I wouldn't be surprised that's why the spirits would be upset everything besides that one Hello? Get out of here. Sorry, just exploring.
All right. Sorry to bother you. So I think that's a homeless camp or something. Stay in there. I gotta get back to my truck. So I think there's definitely people living inside the graveyard. In here. It's coming out. I don't know what he wants, but I don't want to get into a gunfight. get to a more safer area because I wasn't expecting someone to actually be in there. Thank you guys for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen. Tonight was a very eventful night. That being one of the most craziest things I've seen. I've never seen those little portals that kind of go deep into the forest line area. I should have known better that people might be in there. I didn't think there would be in the forest hiding and stuff. Let me know, should I come here in the daytime, probably for a Franco travel video, seeing what goes into those forests and how deep I should go? Let me know in the comments. But that being said, I will see you guys in the next adventure. Bye, guys.